Now that we've covered how to protect the engine's uh, internal components and fuel system for storage, let's turn our attention to some of the smaller items. If your outboard has an air compressor, this is a good time to change the filter. If your boat spends a lot of time on a mooring or at a slip, you're probably going to need to change the sacrificial anodes or zincs on the lower unit once every season, and this is the time to do it. Uh, the anodes or zincs on this outboard are located here. There's a couple on uh, one on either side of the cavitation plate. There's a round one located underneath the cavitation plate and there's also a bar anode that's mounted up underneath the mounting bracket uh, where the uh, outboard attaches to the transom. If you have a two-stroke outboard you'll need to change the small inline filter on your oil line. Next, add grease to all the fittings on your outboard using a grease gun to force out any water. Check your engine manual to see what type of lubricant is recommended by their manufacturer. You'll also need to lubricate the outboard's tilt tube via the appropriate fittings, as well as the steering rod pivot points. Apply some Teflon grease to the balls of the trim tilt rods to prevent corrosion during layup. Rotate the balls to work the grease into the sockets. Locate the fill port on the power tilt cylinder and check the fluid level. Fill it with fresh fluid if necessary. One other thing I like to do before putting the engine away for the winter is to coat it with some uh, heavy duty corrosion inhibitor like this stuff made by CRC. Uh, Bow Shield also makes a corrosion inhibitor. Simply spray this on the power head covering all the electrical connections and exposed metal parts and it protects it nicely through the winter. While it's not necessary, you might also consider a light application of marine wax to the engine cowling. Remove the propeller and cover the shaft with Teflon grease. I like to use an old toothbrush to work the grease between the shaft splines. This is a good time of year to uh, inspect your prop for signs of damage that may occur during the season and also to look around the shaft for any old fishing line you may have picked up which can damage the prop uh, shaft seal. Uh, if you see any signs of uh, damage on the prop beyond you know, minor, minor wear on the edges of the blades, you may consider sending it into a prop diagnostic facility uh, because a, a damaged prop, even if it's off a little bit, uh, can make a huge difference in boat performance and fuel economy. Oh, and one last thing to remember before putting your outboard away for the winter. Always store it in a vertical position so that any water can drain out. Well, that's pretty much it for winterizing your outboard. I'm Tom Richardson for Boating Local. Thanks for watching.